Today is Sunday, April 24th, 2016. This terrapine, which is bigger than the sibling by two times in body weight, came in actually together with the other one with a complaint of swollen eyes. Actually, as you can see, both of them actually had these uh, white spots on the shelves. And this is not a good sign of health because normally the shell is quite thick and of better quality. Now you can see actually bleeding. You can see bleeding the, the reddish spots on the, on the shells. Those are bleeding and then below you can see really blood, blood stains there due to the poor quality of the shells. So the water was pinkish red and the whole shell this morning was actually blackish brown due to the blood oxidation blood clot. Now as to why why this therapy which is two years old has such poor shell quality it could be due to to being immersed in water for long periods of time and uh, no space for basking the, the the tank is about this size I would say according to the owner for two terrapins this one and another one and uh, even though they may have basking area there might not be sufficient space for basking drying up so as you can see after some time the quality of the shells become worse and it becomes softer crack and crack and expose the blood vessels below which you can see more obvious here more obvious here on the on the lower shell on the upper shell now because of the water because of the water rinsing it off there was a lot of blood. Now we see whether the terrapin can swim upright or not. So far so good. We still can swim upright. So poor shell quality affects the health and uh, causing the immune system to go down and so the terrapin becomes stressed out and probably rub his eyes to relieve his uh, infections. The infections come from the shell, shell being infected and uh, it affects the water. The water becomes dirty, that's why the owner chain twice a day. And uh, as you can see, overall the therapy is still very active. So we need to treat the shell quality, to treat the shell. Normally we brush it and uh, keep it clean. It does need sunlight as well. So the terrapin is watered for two days to give antibiotics and eye drops and to clean up the shell. Most likely these are bacterial infections and uh, maybe some fungus to apply your vets Singapore Sunday April 24, 2016 two therapies with white spots on the shell this one being twice the size of the other one the other one is being bullied by this fellow according to the doctor who has seen this uh, bigger one snatching off the food of the smaller one although the owner, the mother had given them separately in separate places but in the same tank so the other one that you see in the other video is much smaller by half the, the weight but uh, both suffer from shell rot this is considered shell rot and uh, the treatment is to clean up the shell and dry it there yeah. You have to have a better look from on this side here. Yeah.
you can see the thinning of the shell and the blood the blood from the lower shell is so thin that it, it starts to bleed starts to bleed and uh, causing the water to be reddish pink shell rock papaya vets therapy two years old males Singapore